Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of July 13th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video. Okay guys, um, coming out of retro, shaking that ick off, there is help on the way. Okay, um, this is something that you might resist their help at first, but then you realize this is a bigger magnitude than what you had first imagined. Okay, so kind of get ready for a fast pace. Um, good news is coming in. I think this is something you guys have been waiting on. Okay, and this could be regarding finances for a lot of you. You're very positive. You're very upbeat. Um, later on... I'm going to say more towards the end of the week. You warned of being used by, by someone or taken advantage of. Uh, but overall, things are looking good. So let's take a look. We're looking at Taurus. This is your week of July 13th, 2020. Taurus. We have the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. That's Taurus appearing in Taurus. A little bit of stubbornness on your side. Starting with that Ten of Cups, you know, you will always hear me say that we're either working for the Four of Wands or the Ten of Cups. You guys start off with the Ten of Cups. This is the happiness. Complete and total happiness on the home front. Everything going well. Um, offers of love. Offers of assistance. Everything you want and need. Um, if I got any single Taurus out there, this is going to be also significant of starting something new in the love life this week. Queen of Swords shows that there's someone around that may kind of lash out at you. I don't see a confrontation. I don't see an argument. Just know that it's present. And then we have Taurus appearing in Taurus. You're happy, aloof, things are going well. <clears throat> Almost comes to me like the full card, be warned of your decisions. So Taurus, I'm going to have to tell you no quick decisions this week. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles coming in as financial stability with the Three of Wands. Now, Taurus, the Three of Wands shows me there has been a lesson well learned in your past that you're actually going to use in this current week of the, uh, of the 13th. King of Swords, you are getting things done. You guys are putting down. You're taking authority. Uh, you're doing things your way and no one else's. We have the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the Five of Swords. Seven of Cups, manifestation energy. You, you've got it going on now. So keep your thoughts positive. What you want wants you. Pretend that you already have it. Act as if you already have it, and it will come into you. Wheel of Fortune shows your anxiety is high. You're still a little overwhelmed. I'm not going to say that's the ick of retro wearing off. And the Five of Swords telling you to let your guard down. And I say this because you guys are a little bit too defensive. Now, Taurus, I pick up a lot of signs around you. And this could very well indicate that <clears throat> you're going to have be surrounded by a lot of people. And the only major arcana you guys had for the week was the Wheel of Fortune. And that shows your anxiety is high and that you're going to be overwhelmed. But... The signs I pick up around you are Gemini, Virgo, another Taurus, Aquarius, and Libra. So a lot of different zodiac energies going on around you guys. Overall, <clears throat> you guys are looking at a wonderful week. So <clears throat> please take the time to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out your weekend video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.